In this video, I'd like to show you how to make a backup of your Metastock files. Nothing is more frustrating than losing your hard work, so by following these really simple steps, I'm going to show you how to protect yourself. So to begin with, what you need to do is you need some type of device to store this information. Something that I'd recommend is some type of an external hard drive. And the reason why I'd recommend that you take a look at it is because, number one, they're very inexpensive for the amount of data that they can store. You can get these external hard drives that will store up to, say, 500 gigabytes of data for less than $100. So price shouldn't be an issue. And the second reason why I like an external hard drive is because this device can then be disconnected from your computer and then stored in a safe location. So to get started, once you have this hooked up to your computer, all you need to do is navigate to where your program is installed. I'm running Windows Vista, so down here in the lower left hand corner, I'm going to right click on my start button, click on explore. So if you installed your Metasoc program with all the default settings, you're going to find it located under your C drive, and then program files, and underneath there you're going to find a folder there called Equus. And all you need to do is just make a copy of this folder and place it on that drive. So to do that, just right click on Equus, choose copy, navigate out to where the hard disk is located. So mine is located on my drive F. And underneath drive F you'll see some of the different folders I have stored there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and store all of my Metasec files underneath this folder. So I'm going to right click in this blank area, click on new, choose folder, and then underneath the folder name, I'm going to call it Metastock Backup. All right. Now I'm going to right click on the folder itself, choose paste, and what that's going to do is that's going to copy the entire Equus folder into this Metastock Backup. And as you can see, this is going to take about six minutes to do it. So when that's finished, that just made a copy of all your important Metasoc files, all your charts, your templates, layouts, your formulas, system tests, expert advisors, you name it. The only thing that that didn't make a copy of are the data files. Now, I personally don't make backups of the data files because they have to be recollected and, and renewed all the time anyway. But if you do want to make a copy of your data files, all you need to do is navigate back out to your C drive and underneath your C drive you should have a folder there called Metastock Data. Just right click on it, choose copy, navigate back out to where your storage device is located. So for example mine's under drive F. Again I'm going to right click in here and I'm going to create a new folder here for my Metastock Data. And I'll just give it a name of Data Backup. And uh, to update this folder, just right click on it, choose paste, and again, same thing. This is going to take a few minutes for it to do, but once it's finished, you now have a complete backup of your entire Metastock program and all its files and all of your data files as well. So by following these steps, you're going to protect yourself if something actually happens to your computer. So I hope this has been helpful, and if you'd like more training tips, please visit us at www.learnmetastock.com.